so i will quickly explain or right now i'll be explaining step by step my strategy that i use in trading boom and crash that really works for me perfectly and the thing is you just need to follow the simple rules just keep doing this same step you know over and over again and you will see how massive your profits will be though yes uh, forest is not 100 percent and st uh, strategies are not just 100 percent but in any forest market you are bound to lose to make some losses but with this simple strategy that i'm going to teach you you will be able to help you to cut your losses you get it to be able to help you to identify uh, where a spike is going to occur and uh, you know and another stuff that i'll be teaching you today quickly i'll be teaching you how to i'll be explaining how to install you know how to set your indicators your indicators are simple uh, these are simple indicators that will direct you and give you confirmation on when to enter the market you click on this f symbol you can see this f symbol you click on it click on me widow and look for moving average look at my moving average here you set your period five shift zero method simple apply to close then your levels is just like that and you can choose any color of your choice you click done you click done are you getting it so after clicking done after clicking done then you go again you go and click this f symbol again you go to this f symbol you click on main window and look for uh sorry you look for relative strength in this which is um uh, called the arrow si relative uh, the relative strength in this you go down look for it look at it here then you set your period to one apply to close the levels the description just put 90 50 10 if you want to add a new level just add a new level and you put any figures there that you want to put but i am um, i don't need any level i'll delete it i'll click done I haven't done that you can see my arrows are here you can see that so i want to fix i want to impute an indicator inside my arrow sr i want to impute my indicator inside my arrow si so what i'll do i'll click on this same f symbol then i won't go to main window again i'll now click on indicator window one now i'll look for moving average the same settings that i use uh, the first time that's the same settings i'm still going to use for this again just click done and you see boom my my indicator is right there and my rsi yeah this strategy is for me is the best and because why i said it's the best is is this same strategy that i use in giving us signals to my student and it has been working perfectly well you get it so if you can take 10 trades a day maximum of seven trades would be would be massive profit why the remaining three trades will be lost you get it forest is about losing and winning but we are more concerned about we winning you know um most of the times so or we winning all the time but have it in mind that you're going to lose some money some dollars in the market is is compulsory even professional traders they lose money but you just have to be focused and follow these simple steps you get it the rule is simple the rule of this uh trading with these indicators is simple this strategy so you can see this is boom 500 boom 500 boom 1000 is the same get the boom 500 and boom 1000 is the same approach you use in trading them you can see when i always say after what you just do for this in for this strategy you wait for one spike you wait for a spike to come that's first you wait for a spike to come after one spike you make sure 
this black moving average is facing to the upside listen again you wait for one spike to come after one spike you make sure this moving average is facing to the upside and also you make sure this moving average here is facing to the upside as well then you enter the market you enter the market this strategy says that when you enter we are you know spikes are supposed to come yes spikes are supposed to come but you can see right here what we have here one two three spikes three spikes came and when you see this moving average this moving average here this one here approaching this line this up line here you exit the market you exit it because once this moving average is approaching this place there might not more be spikes again that is how i determine my exit point there might no more be spike again when this moving average is coming close to this 19 can, can you see it to this 90 line this 90 when it's coming close to that line there might not more be spikes again so let me look for another example the just <laughs> this is what just very very simple and straightforward you get it what i said is wait for one spike you make sure this moving average is facing to the upside and you make sure this one down here is also is is, uh, is facing to the upside as well you get it enter the market enter and wait patiently for spikes to come that's how I trade that's just my secret of trading there's nothing there's no magic here that's just what i do every day that's what i do every day let me just check the correct okay you, you can see you, you can see this here after this spike this moving average was facing to the upside sorry and you can see right here this moving average too was facing to the upside so it's just it's just something very very simple that's not difficult so once this moving average comes hits this point here and there is a spike and this moving average facing to the upside this one corresponds with it too yes we don't have any trust that to enter the market then wait patiently i repeat wait patiently for spikes to come wait patiently for specs to come you need to be patient if you are not patient enough you, you might just close in loss and once immediately you are closing you will just see the specs you have been waiting for will just come so let me just show you an example on crash you know crash is the opposite of boom boom is the opposite of crash let me show you examples of crash you can see right now a crash let me sell why am i selling now i'm selling because this spike and the moving average is facing to the downside you can see here this moving average is too it's waiting to the down it's facing to the downside now i have entered this trade i'm going to wait patiently i'm just going to take my time to wait patiently for more spikes to come so if uh if i can calculate after four minutes or five minutes there's no spike I close my loss and wait for another confirmation again okay, that is it that's how I trade that's how I trade my trading is just so very simple I just want to show you some some uh, okay, okay you can see right here after one spike this is spike just face it to the downside you can see here face it to the downside one two three uh -huh. just count just count the spike stats that came when these confirmations were made after this one spike the moving average face it to the downside you make sure this one here too corresponds with it face it to the downside as well <laughs> you're going to catch just immediately this first candle this first spike comes you make sure this moving average is facing to the downside this as well is facing to the downside enter the market and wait patiently there is nothing more to do enter the market wait patiently you're going to catch spikes then if after four minutes or maybe three minutes uh, it, it depends on 
uh, what your account can carry. If after five or three minutes there is no spike, you close in loss, you close it and wait for another confirmation. You keep repeating, you keep repeating this same process over and over, over and over. This is just a simple process. There's no magic, there's nothing more I do. This is just the same process I'm following. Just keep doing it over and over again, over and over again. You see how perfect your trading will be. You get it? I hope you this uh, explanation will make you to understand and know how I trade and there's no secret here. This is this something very, very simple. So I do every day. So if you have any question, 